Hey y'all, it's no one's favorite topic, but this week on Working Wednesday, we are talking about the grunt work. So when those job offers aren't rolling in, that doesn't mean there's nothing to do in your business. In fact, what you do during this off time, this non-busy time, can often be a really big indicator of how long you're gonna be in business for. So I am taking you inside my studio today for three things that I do when there's nothing else to be done. All right, let's go. Okay, so these are the tasks that you rarely have time for when you're busy because A, they're not too exciting and B, they're not urgent. But they are necessary, like we said, when running a business and building a career over time. Also, there's not really a set list of these tasks, so these are just a couple of my go-tos, so you can start with these when you get stumped. Ultimately, you'll start your own list, and whatever you need to do will get done during this time. One, update website. Let's be honest, when was the last time you updated a website? You can't remember? Yeah, then it's probably time to spruce it up and dust off those cobwebs. Are your demos up to date? Do you have testimonials from recent past clients? Is your pricing current? A well-curated website is a must when you're attracting clients. So when the new clients aren't rolling in, see how you roll out the welcome mat for when they arrive with an awesome website. Two, submit auditions. Auditioning is part of our job, y'all. If we're not booking, then it may be because we need to sharpen up our audition skills. So hit up ACX, scroll through your favorite Facebook forums, dive deep into your most trusted platforms for freelancers, and find some auditions that interest you. Send five auditions. Take a break. Send five more. Then pat yourself on the back and do it again tomorrow. Three, reach out. Messaging or emailing former clients is a great way to see if there's any upcoming projects headed your way. This can remind them of the past work that you've collaborated on and keeps you top of their mind when some new voiceover project comes up. And you never know, they might have something ready to work on and you're emailing them at just the right moment. So, these are just a few of the things that I did this week when I had downtime. And while I hope you don't have downtime because you're booking out the wazoo, when you do have downtime, make sure to use it well. The grunt work is what keeps us going, y'all. Caroline Cole is a writer, voiceover artist, yogi, and coach. Learn more at my website, carolinecolestories.com, or follow on social media at carolinecolestories on Instagram and at ccolestories on Twitter.